Joining us right now, Dr. Rebecca Robbins, sleep expert for the Benjamin Hotel in New York City. Thanks for waking up early with us. Okay, I think everybody is excited about this. In fact, I have friends who think this is better than Christmas and better than their birthday because they get an extra hour of sleep, ending daylight saving time. But does anybody have a problem with the change? Great question. The fall is, of course, easier than the spring when we lose the hour. So this fall, uh, it really is a, t a great time to reach, kind of focus on good sleep habits. Yeah. So this weekend coming up tomorrow evening, our clocks are going to change, giving us, a, a, in essence, a full extra hour and a 25 hour day. But here's the thing. The biggest mistake we see is that people will say, oh, I got an extra hour and they stay up an hour later. So instead, this Sunday night, try to get into bed at your usual time. Your clocks, if you're using your smartphone uh, as an alarm clock, that will change automatically for you. Set that alarm clock for what was your normal time, but that will actually allow for a full extra hour. So make sure to try to use this opportunity to kickstart a great sleep schedule that will only be beneficial to you this winter. What are some other good sleep habits? Because again, I think a lot of us are going to enjoy that extra hour and it's as if we didn't lose any time. Uh, but throughout the year, we can struggle over insomnia and uh, stress right before bed, looking at our phones right before bed, which I've been very, very guilty of. Uh, are there any things that you recommend as a way to get the best sleep year round? Absolutely. And it's such a good question because sleep is really the cornerstone of our, our good health and making it a priority is, is now more important than ever amidst our uh, the current pandemic. So here are a couple suggestions. Number one, try to make time for sleep, but then also keep a consistent sleep schedule. These are things that we tell our children, but often think as adults that we're somehow immune to, uh, to their benefits. But finding a time that you can fall asleep and wake up is really critical. It'll give your body and your brain information on when it's supposed to be tired and when it's supposed to be alert. Now, number two, falling asleep is a process. It's not possible to go from filing reports and sending emails and scrolling social media to going right to, to sound sleep. So look at that time right before bed as really important time to unwind and set yourself up for success that night. Do relaxing things, read books, focus on happy memories, maybe practice some meditation or relaxation strategies. And last, the bedroom environment is one of my favorite things to talk about. I'm here at the beautiful Benjamin Hotel where I've helped them design the guest rooms according to the science of our sleep. And you really wanna walk into your bedroom and feel instantly relaxed. So here you see lots of soothing colors in the background behind me, nice cozy pillows that are supportive of your good night's sleep. So again, you wanna walk in and feel instantly soothed. Okay, one more question, because your voice is soothing me right now. We only have a few more seconds. I literally like, can I just listen to you forever? Because I just feel like nice and relaxed. One quick question. We only have like 20 seconds. Yeah, let's work it out. Um, seasonal depression, the winter blues, they are uh, true for a lot of people, and that can interrupt your sleep. Any really quick advice we can give folks at home? Great, great question. Now, light is a really important part of our internal circadian rhythm, which is our ability to understand when we're supposed to be tired and alert. So I'm actually um, answering that question because going outside will be a really beneficial thing for all of us. As soon as you wake up on Sunday, this will help you reset to the new time. But blue light exposure is really important for all of us. And without that, we put ourselves at risk for depression. So make sure you're getting plenty of natural blue light. But if you do feel some anxiety or depression symptoms and they persist, it might be time to speak to your healthcare provider. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.